Aquarius, uh, welcome to the meditation channel. Hi, how's it going? Um, that was a little creepy. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> um, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today we are doing a reading for you for July 2024. And let's see what is in store for you. Um, okay, apparently that. Four cards. Sure, we'll go with it. Oh, I hope you're doing well and I hope life is treating you well. As always, just remember this is a general reading and if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. But you clicked on this video for a reason and it's probably because there's a message in here for you. So let's see what comes up. So whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize we've lost. Okay, so already I'm getting here. <laughs> You've forgotten something about yourself. You have lost and found, refound, rediscovered something about you that it's kind of like magical. It's kind of like your little special gift, your little skill, something that you rediscovered about yourself. And it's not just a blessing for you. It's really a blessing for other people, but you love doing it. You love being of service. You love having this gift. And for some reason, you haven't, maybe you haven't been yourself or something happened over time where it just took your energy and focus away. And it's kind of like you're rediscovering your magic. You're rediscovering this part of you that was dormant, if you like. Um, journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be in prompt you i can't read apparently or planned either way make sure you're ready when the time comes pack your passport now so ultimately what i'm getting here is because of this rediscovery changes are going to happen new things new doors new experiences are going to happen for you and it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be fun this could also mean that you might manifest new energies this could also be relationships friendships this can also really manifest also in a job or like it said in traveling it will activate some kind of desire in you where you're going to start making some new changes in your life that are unexpected and out of character inspiration be prepared <laughs> as you'll soon receive a visit from the fair of inspiration come dusk Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. So once again, this is just reaffirming what I'm saying. It's like you're going to get this aha moment. Something's going to come to you unexpectedly and you're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to do that. So it could be like it's it's I just feel like it's this really random thing that's going to show up and it's just going to give you an idea and you're going to be like, yeah, F it. I'm going to go and do that. Like, and you know you need to go and do it because it's something for yourself that it's going to continue this activation of this thing that you have lost. It's going to continue to inspire you. It's going to continue to lead you somewhere where you know you're on a trajectory onto something. You know you're discovering something right now about yourself. And I'm feeling it's really to do with like some kind of it's to do with spirituality. This is kind of like a spiritual quest where you know it's something um yeah, I, I, I don't know how to word it right, but it's going to bring a lot of joy and a lot of playfulness into your world. It's really going to bring this just fulfillment that you've been chasing and you've been wanting and you've been working for, and it's right there. So whatever this thing also that it's coming in, it's going to be something fun. <laughs> It could be a retreat, for instance, you know, it's just like, you know, this like weird retreat and you're going to be like, sure, I'm going to go and do that. Or you're going to go on like a three week hike somewhere, or it's just going to bring an, this new sense of self-discovery 
And I love this card, the financial flow card. This is really when I see this, there's energies wrapping itself around this fairy. So it's like activating and opening all these energetic portals for you. You are attracting all these people, all these experiences that are in alignment with who you are, in alignment with your heart, with your spirit. So you're kind of finding this soul family and happily ever after. I mean, You've got to figure it out, apparently. I, mean, I need to hang out with one of you guys because clearly, I know, I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm kidding. Um, what do we want? No, I'm not getting that. Okay, this one. Um, yeah, but it's great. Good job, Aquarius. You're, on, you're in alignment. You're just doing what your heart is calling you to do. Um, you know what to do and you just need to follow it. You just need to continue what you're doing it's like a real like self-discovery, spiritual evolution. Um, yeah, just whatever you're doing, you're you're doing what is right for you and you're finding yourself. You're almost like rediscovering yourself. Um, release the past. There is more enriching future com to come. Let go and let God. So there is even for some of you this connection, this new spiritual connection to God, the goddess, your higher self, whatever, but you're having this intense spiritual experience right now. It's going to amplify in July. It's going to be really a spiritual month for you. This is what I'm getting. It's just like this awakening, this activation, this like uh, spiritual rebirth, if you like, spiritual rediscovery. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. And like I just said, you're a magnet for your soul family right now. You are bringing the right people in, left, right, and center. And it's kind of cool because you're meeting new people. You're reconnecting with some people. And it's just been such a joyful experience. It's just been this like, I'm just getting like my heart is full, you know. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people you share your vision. So once again, this could be with community. This could be you're reconnecting with these people for a reason because there's like a lot of evolution, but you're not just doing this alone. You're connecting with the people who are also in alignment with this journey with you. So it's really cool because I don't know. I'm such a solitary person, um, but I am seeking this myself. This is something that I'm really looking for. It's my tribe, my people, the people that want to do this woo-woo stuff with me, you know, and uh, who enjoy meditating, who enjoy bettering themselves. And it seems to me like you are doing it. You are finding it. You are finding your community and you're connecting with these people. And it's really just all a synchronicity, if that makes sense. It's perfect timing. It's a good synchronicity. And this is something that is going to develop a family, a happily ever after, a long-term bond. Um, and maybe even be the fact that you've been wanting this yourself. You've been wanting to connect with people who are similar to you and you've missed that. You know, maybe you've been so focused on working and making money that finally you're like, you know what, I need to just be alive and be with people. So this is amazing. Um, I love it. Good for you. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It's definitely working out for you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for sharing this space with me today. I really hope that these cards have given you some guidance, some insights. And please leave a comment below if this resonated with you. I would love to know. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon. Have a magical day.